Hurricane Harvey still slamming Texas. I'm Mike Naso from the Tropical Update page on YouTube with the latest on our still Hurricane Harvey, Category 1 now, and uh, still gusting upwards of 90 miles per hour. It will be weakening to a tropical storm than a depression, but the movement is a lot different than it was 24 hours ago. 24 hours ago, it was moving at about 10 miles an hour, now it's moving north at 2. It's essentially stalling out over Texas, and as you can see, the five-day track from the Hurricane Center only moves it by Thursday, maybe about 200 miles. That's bad news. Very bad news. Not just the risk that it could move offshore again, which if it did, it will not become a Category 4 hurricane again, but just the fact that it will continue to tap and fetch in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, which will uh, create prolific flooding events and very heavy rainfall. Of course, right now the hurricane's at 28.9 north, 97.3 west. But again, as it weakens, it's going to sit and spin, and that's going to cause a lot of heavy rainfall. We've already had very high rain totals so far. There's the uh, visible satellite imagery as the sun comes up. You can see Hurricane Harvey weakening. It was a Category 4 hurricane when it came on shore. It was a major hurricane throughout the overnight hours. It's now a Category 1 but nevertheless, the damage has been done when we see what happened to Aransas Pass, Rockport, uh, areas near Port O'Connor, Port Lavaca, Victoria even. Uh, I hate to see the pictures. Uh, what we've seen so far is not very good at all. Now here's the uh, Central Texas radar, and you can see Hurricane Harvey just sitting and spinning. The eye has dissipated, but still... Heavy rainfall, Houston, Beaumont, you guys are about to get in on the action. And that continued tropical fetch is going to uh, create nasty weather for any recovery efforts that are going to take place along the coastline where this came ashore as a Category 4 hurricane. So sometimes these get in and out, and even though the devastation was done, you get sunny skies so you can at least work with what... Uh, Mother Nature dealt you, not with this storm. It's going to continue to rain and be miserable over Texas for the next several days, which is going to be very bad news indeed. The only good news is that some of the models are beginning to show it eventually moving out, but again, this is four days out. So it's a long time to sit and spin, and the rainfall is going to be prolific. Some of the estimates from the National Hurricane Center, National Weather Service, 20 inches of rain on top of what's already fallen, maybe more in certain areas. It's just very, very bad news if you live in the area of central Texas. Look at what we've seen so far north of Corpus. In the area where the eye came ashore, we're looking at rainfall totals 10, 12 inches so far. And it's only going to get worse as Hurricane Harvey sits and spins regardless of the winds weakening the rainfall will not. Remember last year in Louisiana in 2016, we had all that flooding? That wasn't even a storm with a name. So it does not take a strong storm to create rain, uh, but this is kind of a double whammy. We have a weak storm that's going to sit and spin after coming ashore as a Category 4 monster hurricane. So kind of a double whammy from Harvey, a very, very nasty hurricane. As we zoom out a little from Harvey, I did want to touch on our other system. That wave we watched behind Harvey all across the Atlantic is still causing disturbed weather over Florida, and the model guidance indicates this could develop into a tropical system and move south of the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but again, it could be closer, it could be a little bit farther. It won't be too strong, we don't think, but we'll keep an eye on it. You can see most of the model guidance keeps it south of the coastline. And as we look out towards Africa, we do have a couple of large blobs leaving Africa the next couple of days. And this could be a feature down the road that we have to watch. So hurricane season 2017, we're just getting towards the peak, which is September 10th. So as uh, the hurricane season continues, we're going to keep a close eye on it. But nevertheless, right now the focus is on Harvey sitting over Texas, weakening, but still a hurricane, and raining like mad. I'm Mike Naso from the Tropical Video Update page on YouTube. I'll talk to you guys next time.